What are we going to talk about now? Oh, right. Let's talk about some TV. TV? And so, if you didn't know, and if you couldn't tell, that I was super excited. Netflix finally has come out with their Iron Fist. And this will be the last of the four solo ventures for their superheroes before they all team up and become the Defenders. So, I thought, what should we do on this show when Iron Fist comes out? Pretty much the same thing we do on every show when I, when it comes out on Netflix. And we're going to review it. So, start breaking it down. I like to break it down into several different categories. and You know, acting, plot. And then give you an overall. It's kind of a, a, a dumbed down, not dumbed down, but like a basic review. Because I've only seen the first seven, eight episodes so far. So full disclosure, haven't seen it all. But I feel like I've gotten a good feel for the show and I can give it a review. So first and foremost, foremost I want to start out by saying um, I like the show a lot more than a lot of the other people's reviews that I've seen. I've seen a lot of reviews out there and they just don't like it. I and I, I don't know why. I like it a lot more than everybody else. So if you are watching this review, just know that I kind of threw everybody else's reviews out the window and went with my own personal feelings, which Including is what you should mine. do anyway. But that's how I went. So let's start off with... He also likes it more than I do. I, I did see I, the first yeah. Brendan saw the first episode. And hey, like that's better that. than I usually do, right? That's true. I did, I did have to literally force him to sit down and watch said first episode. Like, literally, I had... A metaphorical gun to his head. Literally. Literally, I had a metaphorical gun to his head. And after watching the first episode, I went back to watching a different Netflix show that just came out. Yes, you did. (laughs) Yes, you did. Which we will be reviewing next week, Brendan. So just be ready for your review next week. Okay. Well, otherwise, I could give you, like, the quickest review ever right now and just tell you the star rating. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. This is Iron Fist review right now. Right now. Okay. So... (laughs) <laughs> I'm breaking down. I'm gonna start by breaking it down with the acting. Uh, now, like, like I said, what am I? If you watched our, we, there was a trailer that came out about a month or so ago. We did a little bit of a, a talk about what we thought about our reactions to the trailer. And one of my reactions was, I'm not so sold on this guy being the the main character. Uh, Finn Jones is the actor's name, and he plays Danny Rand, Iron Fist, uh, in the show. And I'll start off by saying. I actually like the guys as Iron Fist. He everything I've seen so far, I'm like, okay, cool. I like this guy. He he can get serious when he needs to. He can be lighthearted when he needs to, and it just it all t- seems to fit with him. So I'm going to start off. I love him. Now the rest of the cast is really good. Uh, there are a couple of the characters. The, the characters who play Joy and Ward kind of fall flat, and the one who plays Harold kind of falls a little bit flat. But they're not. I mean, they are really main characters. Don't get me wrong, but they're not. They don't break the show for me. So Finn Jones really carrying it through Dylan a lot better than I expected of him. So I, I got to give him a round of applause for, for proving me wrong. Cause I'll be honest, I wanted to be proved wrong on this and thank you for doing that. So acting overall is pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Rosario Dawson's made a few appearances in it. She's a spectacular. Uh, and there's a couple other little characters that really do well. Like there's this one guy in the very first episode, this guy, big Al, And I think the guy who played that character did spectacular. And I will say that I didn't have any problem with the acting. I thought the main character, the the acting was 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 fine. It was, it was mm-hmm. good. I was convinced that this is who he is. Um, I didn't really have that much problem with most of the other characters. Like they could maybe be better, but they fit. I, the like I said, they were a little bit stiff here and there, but they, overall, I thought they were pretty good. And then the plot. Um, now, if you don't know the plot of Iron Fist, I'm not going to be spoiling anything here by telling you. It's about a guy, Danny Rand, who heads off with his parents. Uh, his parents are his dad runs this multi billion dollar corporation. Heads off on a family trip with his parents, where his jet is traveling over the Himalayas. Some sort of catastrophic failure. It crashes. Both his parents die, and he is taken in by these monks in a place called Kunlun, where he then trains to become the Iron Fist. So that's just a basic rundown. Uh, Well, I guess he returns to the city and realizes there's corruption around, and he's here to help clean it up, pretty much. Um, So that's the plot. Now, one thing I did like that, again, I've heard a lot of people say they didn't like was the pacing. I felt like it had a little bit more of a slow burn to it, but it was all right, because I wanted to really get in depth with these characters. And I feel like, especially with Danny, they took enough time to really, yeah, they might've gone over a couple of things. And there was a couple of times where I was like, okay, you could give me a little bit more, but the slow burn tended to work out because those moments where you do finally get the information you want, or you do get the action that you want really paid off because you're kind of waiting, 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 waiting. All right. It's going to be here. Oh, it's not here. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, now it's here. Awesome. You know, and, 
I, I like that. I, I, you know, not everybody does, but I'm also a fan of the longer winded RPGs where you have, like the mass effects, where you have a whole bunch of dialogue and stuff you go through to hit those more climatic moments. And I think it just adds to those moments. I, I did have a little bit of issue with the, the pa- actually the pacing was probably my, my biggest concern. Cause I was wondering when things were going to get somewhere that I cared about. But I think that the, probably the biggest problem that I had was not so much that it wasn't progressing so much that it was pounding the same concept in a little too long, like harping on the same idea uh, in the, in like in the first episode when he's trying to convince people of who he is, they, they do too many scenes based around that. They could extend a scene and do fine or, you know, cut, but cut down the number of, scenarios where they're just harping on that concept i thought that was just a little they did that too much they harped on the same thing they should have moved on to the next thing or just extended out and made whatever setup they were using more elaborate or or extended rather than just doing the same thing over it felt like they're just hitting the same thing over and over a I thought it was much. a little bit, but little see, bit. I saw, I see the same thing and I, I know what you're saying. Cause they did do a lot of scenes with him trying to convince certain people that he was who he says he was. But I think that actually without giving any spoilers, it actually has a big payoff. It helps establish those characters and really see where they are and where they're going to head towards um, by how they react to this stranger popping up on the door saying he's somebody that they haven't seen okay. for 15 years. And, that, that and, and I do feel like it pays off a little bit more in the end, but that, I, I do understand what you're saying. Uh, yeah, I, I well, I guess I would say that I just wish that they found addition. Uh, like, I understand there is a, an importance in showing those characters and bringing them out that way. I just wish that they found other ways to show off the these characters. Fair but it wasn't Fair the enough. worst thing in the world. It just I, I felt that it was a drawback. From yeah, like I said, I liked it, but but I also liked the pacing, and I, I thought they did a, a. Whereas you know that's what a lot of people had a problem with. You didn't particularly like. Um, I thought they did a good job mixing in some of the darker moments, the more serious moments, and then having some lighter moments sprinkled in there. It's not yeah, that was fine. That was comedy, cool but I, I thought they did a good job of, of balancing that. So that, that's the plot. I I did enjoy. The, I do enjoy the plot. I think it's heading the right direction. Um, and it, it's really it's a build to the defenders, so that's what they're they're really heading for. Uh, now, overall, I'm just gonna say I feel like I liked it more than most people. I, I liked it a lot more than most people. I, I thought it was a fun, it's a fun show. It, it keeps you going. The action, a lot of people do have a problem with the action. I'm not gonna say that it's the greatest at times. There are some moments where you're like, oh, that's a little weird, but there are some moments where you're like, wow, that's awesome. You know, not not the level of Daredevil, which is surprising because Daredevil. It's the same people doing it. It's like, why can't you have it at that level? But it's not. I'm not going to say it's Daredevil level action. It's not even Luke Cage level action, but Luke Cage level action is just kind of more superhero-ish action. Uh, but overall, I really enjoyed the show. I'm going to continue watching it. I'm hooked on it. Like when I first started watching it, I was watching it on like Saturday or something. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm like, okay, about to go to bed. Let me just throw on an episode of Iron Fist just to see if I like it. And five hours later or four hours later, I'm still watching Iron Fist. So it sucked me in a lot more than I thought. And I think part of it was probably as I went in with such low expectations and it definitely beat all my expectations. And I'm thankful for that. So thank you, Netflix, for giving me another show that I thoroughly enjoyed delving me deeper into this universe that has been, you've been creating for you know, what, three years now. And I'd give it a 3.75 Chewbacca Chainsaws out of 5. 3.75? So, what would you rate? And I know you just saw the first episode. What would you rate the first episode? Uh, 2.5. Ooh. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. But that's just our opinions. Hit us up. Let us know what you think. Have you seen the show? Do you want to see it? Uh, let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. I have a feeling a lot of people will be like, Brian, you're stupid. It wasn't that good of a show. People might say I'm stupid. That it was a great show. I don't know. Find out. Yeah. We'll find out. But let's keep on 